Minasan konnichiwa, this is David. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the amazing Red Warrior for our Gundam tr Build Fighters Try. Here he is. The TLDR version. I very much like this kit. It's very good. Um, I guess it's it's sort of, you know, built off of classics. Um, it's clearly reminiscent of, you know, the Perfect Gundam, the, the RX-78 II, um, and all of the variations thereof. So it's definitely a kit that's had a lot of work that's gone into it, so it's sort of built off the back of those giants. Um, but I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's very simple, very, very clean. Um, it's sturdy, well-balanced. And basically, I mean, it's 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 a classic style Gundam. Um, there's only a few major variations. Um, like he has this chest piece, um, which is slightly different than you might expect. Um, it adds a little bit of extra color. He is of course in red and more different red. Um, <laughs> sort of a cherry red, an orange red, and then a blue tone red, a deeper. Yeah. Unlike the RX-78 II, he has a shield, but it is a little buckler-style shield, mm. um, which just sort of clips onto his arm. Uh, he has these thrusters on the sides that can swivel, pivot, and go all over the place. Cute. Yeah, so he has a little bit of extra customization there. Now, um... And he can fire them both at the same time towards his head for whatever reason. Yeah, he could theoretically, I guess. Um, <laughs> the the other... Um, and, um, he also has... This is one of the only problems I have with the kit. It's just a minor thing. This little piece right here um, holds a beam saber. He has four of them. He has two of these small sort of dagger-sized ones. And then he has two traditional long-style ones. And they are in yellow. Um, now they're supposed to clip in there, and they do, but they don't really stay very well. Um, they're very loose. Um, not a lot you can do about that. I mean, if you put like nail polish on or something on the beam saber, it would help. Um, but they're just not very amazing. Um, and you mean put a little nail polish around it to make it slightly thicker so that it'll stay in better? Yeah, yeah. And, and it'll it's not gluing it anymore. No, 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 no. I mean, you could glue it if you really wanted to, but no, you would just put a little bit of nail polish around the post there, mm -hmm. um, and that would not only make it a little bit bigger, but it would also give it a little bit of traction. Mm -hmm. um, another minor thing with this one, and this is totally anecdotal, um, my gates, uh, the the um, sprues, they had a lot of bubbles in them. None of them actually made it into the pieces that I assembled, um, but a lot of the sprue like just sort of crumbled um, and snapped. It didn't cause me any problems with the build, as I said, but it was a little weird. Um, and it means that there's the possibility that some people might have gotten some bubbles in the first run. I don't so, know. So check your kits. Yeah, check them. Um, you know, if particularly like if you're in the States and they don't close the boxes, you can open them up and take a look at it. You'll be able to see the bubbles because they're big honking holes in the sprues. Um, okay, so here's his other big difference. He has this backpack kit. Um, and it is a backpack that is compatible with pretty much any HG kit, just like all the other Build Fighters Try stuff. It's got those thrusters that toggle. And then it has these um, two arms. And the arms are two-piece. And so they swivel. They, go, they both swivel at full distance. So um, you can rearrange the guns so they are underneath him. Um, so they are over him, whatever. Um, that's kind of neat. His weapon system, which is the, um, the Kuranai weapons, um, it's kind of modular, uh, which is neat. Uh, it gives you some options. He has the classic bazooka, except it's extendable, <laughs> which is kind of cool. I mm -hmm. like that. Um, and it looks, um, it's... Somewhere between, like, the classic Mega Bazooka and maybe the Unicorns version of the Mega Bazooka. Mm. Um, but it extends. And then you have this piece right here. This is a sword um, that is also some sort of rifle -y weapon. <laughs> sword gun. Yeah, it's a sword gun. Um, you have your sword gun. And it is similarly modular. You can turn it into a shorter sword, sword gun. gun. Yeah. So it's more like a sword br or gun broadsword thing. I don't know, but 
So that's shorter. Bastard gun. Yes. I like I like the longer one though. You would. And then we have this, which is a much more modular piece. Mm. Um, it has this scope system <laughs> on the top, which you can take off, and you can also you can replace it with this um, ammo canister. Uh, not a more different scope. No, no, no. You can remove the um, the barrel here, mm -hmm. which is uh, sort of assault rifle style barrel, mm. and you can replace it with this, which is a Gatling cannon. <laughs> I guess it probably goes that way. Yeah. Um, like the Maiji's uh, robots are nothing if not full of overkill. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the the back. There's so there's actually a. Um, a I'm sorry. You have a gun on the back as well. So it's sort of a <laughs> two sided gun. Yeah. This is um. It, it it's a weird kit. It's a weird kit. Um. It's subtly weird though. I think it's um. Which is which is kind of you know I can appreciate that. Um, and is that meant to be used like you shoot the guy in front of you and then the guy who you thinks he's sneaking up on you gets shot in the face? Probably. I mean, <laughs> if you consider the way that he fought in Build Fighters, yeah. he was um, he was very adaptive. Yeah. Sniper team didn't do too well against him. No, no. The um, K9 sniper against um, the what was it? The Comfer Amazing. Yeah. It was one of the better fights in the series. Fight. Yeah. It's a tense fight. Yes, it was. It was I'm good. talking about pretend robots, like using words like tense. That's my life. Well, yeah, and it showed. Um, showed. <laughs> it showed um, my Jin Kawaguchi's um, ability to adapt. Yeah. Creatively, which is you know what this whole kit is about. Mm. But anyway, um, it that's it. It's as I said, it's very simple. Um, I love the modular weapon system. Um, the modular we weapon system, which is the um, the Kurenai weapon system. Um, it's cool. It's great. This has all of these weapons, the same ones that I showed you just a moment ago. The only thing um, that I will note about it is it, it has the um, the arms for the backpack, but it does not actually have the backpack pieces. Um, so you can't just take that and just plug it onto any kit. Um, you would need some other backpack. Um, but Build Fighters has a lot of backpacks that will fit them just fine. Um, so you don't have to worry there. And all the weapons are totally compatible. So um, if you want a backpack out of this kit, you're not going to get it. That's all. Um, but there we go. Um, he is articulate. Not immensely so, but, you know, he's got a full range. He's he's your average HG kit in this regard, but he hasn't fallen apart on me at all, which is Yay. good. Yeah, I haven't needed to do any major modification. Um, he actually, Ow. yeah, he has a lot of range in his <laughs> legs. Ow. Yeah, they even they go a little bit further than a traditional split too, um, and so that's pretty cool. Um, the skirts go up pretty far to accommodate that. All right. Yeah. Now his arms, if you put back those thrusters, his arms have a pretty good range too. Yeah, they'll go up to about there. Mm. And of course, the head is mostly mobile. It'll it'll go all almost all the way around before it hits those those thrusters. Mm. Um, waist is just slightly articulate, but you know you probably don't want to turn that very much anyway. I can't imagine wanting to. So there you go. Um, it's a great general all-purpose HG kit. I can imagine a million different ways that you can customize it, particularly considering it has um, it has holes there for weapons and things um it also has the one on this side um so you can you could do a lot with this kit without very much work um it's pretty much an iconic build fighters kit for that reason um you can do a lot of stuff with it and um i believe it was about um i believe the the retail price was like six uh, 1600 yen mm -hmm. so it's about a 15 dollar kit yep. uh, yeah not that much and um, there you go. If you like our stuff, please subscribe, like, comment, ask questions. We take requests. And um, matane, everyone. Matane.